Your local Ashley Home Store is spreading good news by bringing you Feel Good Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. I am Nate Eaton. We are in Shelly. I've got flowers. I've got a big bag of candy and a bunch of gift cards. That must mean it's time for Feel Good Friday. I want to read you an email I got a few weeks ago about a woman named Missy who lives here in Shelly. She has been buying packaging and handing out 400 breakfast and lunches a day to children and elderly in Shelly. She started doing this because she had seen a very high need for it and the school did not start handing out their meals until March 30th. So she wanted to bridge the gap. She goes around town everywhere she can to try to find enough food and then her three teenage kids help set up and pack the lunches. They then get volunteers to hand them out at different places throughout Shelly and she'll even deliver them to people's doors if they can't get out of their homes. Missy is a real life hero to so many people in the community. This is just one thing she has done. Obviously the school district has been serving lunch over the last few weeks. So this was done over a few week period of time. She spent thousands of dollars of her own money to make the lunches happen. So we wanna thank her. Again, I got her some flowers. I got the kids a big bag of candy from Ashley Home Furniture. And then we have some gift cards to some local businesses that hopefully they can go out and support. So let's go surprise Missy. Hi, is Missy here? Oh, yes, she's right here. Missy, hi. hi. How are you? I'm going to stick out this mic if that's okay. Perfect. <laughs> I'm with East Idaho News. Okay. How's your day going? Pretty good. It's we got an email day. about you. You've been pretty okay. busy over the past few weeks. You know, just doing my part. <laughs> what, what have you been doing? Um, I Just helping oh. out. Oh. We just did oh. a community service oh. and you know, saw a gap, so we filled it. Yeah, talk about talk about the gap. I mean, this wasn't just the one thing here or there, right? This was hundreds of lunches? Um, it was. So you're, you're talking about the lunch program, obviously. Yeah. Um, it started out as, I just, when the schools announced that they were ending quickly, it was pretty abrupt here in Shelly. Um, and I knew that lunches are a big deal to some kids in this area. We, we've lived in this area a long time. We know what the need is. Yeah. Um, and so we, I just decided we had to do something. So the idea came and we ran with it and how it many, went well. How many lunches over the, how long did you do it? Two or um, three weeks? We, it feels like a lifetime ago. I can't even remember now. So I think we did it for two weeks. Okay. It was two weeks because we were out a week before spring break. They don't normally do the lunch program ever over spring break and then the school was able to start up. Yeah. So um, so it was about a week and a half, two weeks and then the school took it over. So And you got yeah. your kids involved? I got my kids involved. I got my sister-in-law involved. She's my partner in crime. I said, hey, I have an idea. And she's like, okay. And so we did it. And did you do this all with your own money out of your own pocket? No, I didn't. We have an amazing community. Like I, when I got the idea, um, I, I was like, I don't know how we're going to do this. But I put a call out on Facebook and I had about half of the funds that we needed within about 48 hours. Oh my so gosh. It was pretty quick. It was pretty awesome. How much money did you end up putting into it? Um, it was it was pretty expensive. It was almost eight grand. Wow. So, yeah. For two weeks of lunches. For two weeks of lunches. So that's hundreds of lunches? Thousands? We did almost 4,000 lunches oh my in gosh. that time. It was pretty awesome. And you had volunteers that would go in to different stops, right? We did. We did. So we actually had... Um, when I put the call out, I had the gal that is over uh, the Just Serve app in our area. Mm -hmm. She called and she said, I can organize this for you and get a sign-up sheet going. And I said, go for it. That's great. And so she did that. And I think we it was full almost in 24 hours. It was full for the whole week and a half. Incredible. So it was pretty awesome. Well, pretty we cool. wanted to thank you for Feel Good Friday Aww, today. Ashley so Furniture awesome. sent us over. We got you some flowers that oh, are, are fresh and smell very uh, oh, fresh. Very and fresh. And then you awesome. know you have kids, so there's oh, 145 yeah. pieces of candy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then we got you a bunch of gift cards to some local businesses that you Seriously? can take to a lot of these do take out um, oh, awesome. but you can support the local businesses take okay. your family out to dinner and enjoy that's it that's so cool you guys are awesome well thank you so cool. thank you for all you did yeah. i like your shirt that oh, sounds thanks. like your motto in life it's pretty much yes. pretty much me so yeah. <laughs> well please thank your kids and thank everybody who, who helped with this program yeah we i could not have done it alone i might have had the crazy idea but i put it out there and it took a lot of help a yes. lot of help so it showed my kids that you know you just be a helper. You don't 
can't just sit around and wonder what's going to happen. You just got to get up and do. So that's Good for what we you. did. Your local Ashley Home Store is spreading good news by bringing you Feel Good Friday.